All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Tuesday. What is it, December 1st, the first day of December? You know, it's 25 days until Christmas. I don't know if you guys were aware of that, but uh, it is true. It is 25 days until Christmas. Good to see you all. Good to see everybody on the Cyber Group room. Greg, good to see you all. Dan, Andrea, good to see you. Mike, everybody here, everyone here on the uh, YouTube Live just give me a, and Facebook, just give me a chat back if you can hear me loud and clear. All right, good morning. Lita, good to see you all. Well, anyway, we're having a huge day right now in pre-market. One of my favorite, most touching phones I had that I was so, I was like the last of the Mohegans. Blackberry is coming out with some great news lately. This thing has been on a tear. I got, I mean, I got a couple of things here we got going on over here. I mean, if you just look, hold on, let me just bring this over here. If you just look here on level, level four, I mean, this thing just did not stop. Seller after seller after seller just getting nailed. All these iceberg orders, huge orders, 50,000, 70,000, 100,000. Bam, 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 getting taken out left and right. This thing has just not stopped since 8 o'clock this morning. And um, I forgot who mentioned it. Um, I forgot who mentioned it, but somebody mentioned it early this morning in the side group room. Let me tell you, if it wasn't for you, I don't think any of us would have got this in the room. Um, other than it just started popping up. It's the biggest percentage gainer right now in the New York Stock Exchange. But this is, I mean, uh, like I have to say, if it wasn't for phase three, I got to do at 930, I would probably call it quits right now. I really would because this is what it's all about. And you know, it's incredible. There's so many people out there that just don't get it. That, you know, like, well, my broker won't let me trade because of, you know, they don't open until 930. Listen, that's why you got to change your broker. Since nine o'clock this morning, um, since we started going into about four minutes, the thing already ran about 70 cents. Well, what, if you bought a thousand shares, you tell me an option of an $8,000 option trade or an $8,000 swing trade that you could make yourself $700 in five minutes. You know what? Now, you know what you can? Right here in day trade, but that was a great move. And you know what? There's a few more like it, which we're going to go about also. Uh, William said he made about 14 cents uh, in about three seconds. Doesn't that feel cool, Wayne? Like you got, you look at it like, oh my God, I just made that much and that fast. But you know what? Money's money at the end of the day. So just be careful. The only thing I noticed about it, which is pretty nice it was, and it's been doing frequently, got a little bit of shake, but it's got some nice Fausto flags. All right. Anyway, let's talk about uh, some of the stocks that we traded yesterday and getting ready for, uh, and getting ready. So anyway, yesterday was the last day of the pay period. You probably would never even think of that. On a Monday, you think it's a new week. Mondays, you know, on and the last day pay period is probably the worst day to trade. And, you know, I was doing my statistics. I was talking to some of you. Um, you know, I even lost a little money on some, some stocks yesterday. And I knew better. I should, probably shouldn't trade. And, you know, it's okay to take off. But, you know, Mondays, especially last day pay period, nobody you know, wants to do anything. And nobody really wants to come out with news. There were a couple of news that did come out. I want to talk about Zoom. Zoom came out with earnings uh, yesterday after the close, and obviously it's not doing too well. Stock uh, was, I mean, it was all the way up to about 478. Thing took a huge hammer all the way down to 750, uh, 454, and it dropped all the way to 444. So stock took a really big hit um, due to earnings. But we're not going to trade uh, Zoom. Remember, we traded Zoom when it was at 160. So anyway, let's go. But there were a couple other stocks that we did trade that did really well. Riot, that one did well. Uh, huge pop in that. Now she's starting to do a little bit of a retrace. Obviously, we know why Riot did so well. Uh, basically, you know, with, with Bitcoin, you know, kept hitting that $20 to 220000 20000 20000 That one did really well. And uh, Mara was also one that trades side by side with it. But you can see now he's starting to get a little bit of a correction in some of these stocks. By the way, they're really, really vo volatile. They're all down about six, seven percent uh, this morning on the average. Uh, also, that was pretty big. That did make some nice moves yesterday. Uh, all these pot stocks. Listen, they did really well yesterday. I'm just gonna change this chart to see a little bit better. Yeah, the ACB uh, TRLY did really well. Why am I keep selling this wrong? Uh, that one had a nice move, eight to about nine dollars. You know, all those cheapies, SN, uh, SN, uh, DL, 
was another one also. By the way, that was a really cheapy. She's going back on 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 the B list on the B list. S N D L. Once again, keep an eye, guys. You know what this is. Penny stock. You know, very careful. But once in a blue moon, we will trade it. Now let's talk about what's going on this morning because there are some really good stocks that are moving. Um, obviously, this one's going to make the watch list, but obviously we all know about BlackBerry. BlackBerry is still holding pretty strong right here. I see a 28,000 share seller right now hovering right around $9 right now. Not a really big iceberg order, but, um, you know, on the average, that really what it looks like with what we're getting out there. 20,000 shares at $7, you know, pretty much we're getting all that stuff right there. Um, you can see where those icebergs are. What else that we got going on? And uh, CAAS. Wow. This thing was also a nice little pop right in the middle of the day. But now she's kind of backing off. Found the stock right around 8 o'clock this morning. Had a nice push right from 13 to 13.50. Then it came back down. Had a couple of, and then I had a nice little push right around uh, close to about 9, 8.40. Went from like 13 to $14. Now she's backing off. I was looking over here on level four. And there is an iceberg order right now for about 18,000. Bring this over to you so you can see it. He's right around there. You can see an iceberg order is right there. And you can see that had resistance levels around 14. There's about close 15,000 shares out there. Uh, you can't, you could can see him. Where is he? Yeah, you can see him right here on level three. All right, here you got 19,000 right there for 13. And uh, what was that resistance at $14? I got to scroll up. Yeah, he's not here. He's probably trading on another exchange. Probably on uh, probably one of the, a different one of the different exchanges. But we know that's where the support and resistance levels on that one. That one we did pretty decent. And then Mara obviously is going back on the watch list. I want to keep an eye on that one. Um, that one had it took a little bit of a hit, but had a nice little bounce in pre market. Just backing off. You know what? I might scratch this and put it on the B list. Okay, Let me write that down on the B list. All right. Let's go hop on the B list. And we all know, we all know, don't neglect and don't, you know, take the B list for granted. Sometimes they turn to the A list, but they are, they are the ones that are the long shots. All right. We all know about long shots. So this one, another penny stock, but she is gapped up about 50%. Nice spread, nice tier sizes. Everything looks good right there. CRBP is another one that showed up this morning on my radar, up 27%, 6 million shares. But it is an algo stock. You got a lot. Look at those orders: twenty thousands, thirty thousands. So if you're if you're an advanced trader, you could trade several thousand shares of the stock, and you could do pretty well. Li, we all remember about Li. Li gapped up this morning, doing really well. Nice little trend up right there. Uh, Hexo also going to go on the sleeper list. Once again, another penny list. You know, I think that that pretty much does it. And we had the SNDL. Uh, uh, that one also, like I said, they're all pretty much penny list, so pe penny stock. So a little bit cautious on the first day of the market. Now, I just want to bring up a couple of swing trades because remember, we do swing trade here, okay? And we do do some options. So please don't discourage and say, oh, we only day trade. No, I say it time and time again. You want to be a good swing trader? You damn well better learn how to learn how to day trade. And let me tell you something, Nikola, okay? And NKLA, I took a I took a little bit of a hit. I made money on Nikola. Okay, I made money right here on Nikola. You can see it right here. We bought it all around twenty two. Uh, started going up right around here, and then we had a nice run. And I was like, oh my god, I'm making a killing. And then all of a sudden, out of one day, and the, it's funny, the news wasn't really out yet, and the stock went right around thirty seven and dropped down. I got out right around 32 and I was really ticked off because I'm like, I lost like five G's just like that. Um, but I was still making money. I mean, I was still doing great. Then I looked at it and I was considering buying it back. And then the news came out yesterday. Okay. 
uh, there was this really bad news about what happened with GM and you know the, you know and remember the news came out regarding what really took it off is that the, the CEO didn't want to say that he has a deal you know 100% in stone in the stock and that really took tanked the stock and then the news really came out on it and the stock now you can see it's already down to 19 but let me tell you what happened yesterday one of my best losses ever was trading this stock yesterday and I'll tell you why yesterday this stock ran I don't know what caused it but they came out with news and all of a sudden the news changed and the stock went from 28 all the way to 40 dollars could you imagine if you had a buy order out there in a breakout you got crushed and within minutes it dropped all the way down to 28. I got in around 31 okay and I sold it at 30 and a half I think I gotta check back I lost 50 cents on that really ticked off because I lost like that if I didn't get out the thing tanked in pre-market went down to 22. I'm like oh my god what a great loss and who really says that you know but one of the big things that we teach you at cyber trade diversity and we're going to talk about it in phase three today you know what you got to know when to take losses we do not teach you how to make money here the winners take care of themselves it's the losers is people got to learn how to control it's the losers that destroy you okay listen if you're in great health and you're doing and you're doing fine and you, you had a test why you got to go to the doctor every week okay other than you're probably psychotic and something you know you're, you're paranoid listen you know when you go to the doctor when you're not doing too well you know when you go you know when you need training you know when you need help when you when you when you got to fix those things that are causing issues and it's losing money and let me tell you that was one of the best losses i had for 2020 and guess what if i didn't get out of it look where it is right now down to 19. i would have got crushed on that trade so anyway a couple other swing trades i doing pretty well that we did pretty uh that are doing uh um uh doing well is um what do we have over here so we traded i jumped into um pins so i'm holding my pin trade so pins obviously is breaking all time high that's good news okay i actually sold it and i ended up buying it back like a jerk you know paying more money for it but you know what whatever you know what one thing i one thing i hate about being a day trader it it makes you too conservative and people are like what too con what is that a bad yeah it is sometimes it is you know it, it is because you know sometimes you're like always thinking about taking the money but you know that one i'm doing uh that one's doing pretty well uh bk and uh uh Craft King also. That one, once it broke 52, a major resistance levels, that one's doing really well. And what else I, I jumped in? Oh, I jumped into Chewy. Uh, who doesn't like who doesn't like animals, right? Who doesn't like their pets? Chewy obviously has been doing really, really good. And the, and if you notice, a lot of these two, two, these two to three stocks are breaking all time highs. And that's really what you want to look at. All right. Uh, Norman says, keep an eye on, on Coles. Kiss. Cole's made a nice little pop right there. Yeah, but Cole's obviously, you know, been on a little bit of a tear. Uh, listen, online shopping, you have to see what happened with Black Friday and Cyber Cyber Monday. You know, a lot of people, you know what's so funny? I went to Home Depot, okay? And I mean, I, I like going there, I like buying stuff. You know, I, I like doing work around the house and gardening and whatever it is, construction, whatever it is. And I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but they didn't have any really Black Friday deals. They didn't have the 99 cent point setters. They didn't have anything. They really, and I was saying like, what happened? It's like a word. They said, well, they're discouraging people from coming into the stores because of the coronavirus. Well, guess what? Online businesses obviously did pretty well. So I would be, I would be really interested to see how their numbers do because uh, there are two holidays where Christmas, uh, where Holton Depot makes most, and Lowe's make most of their money on Christmas and spring. Okay, so that's obviously look like it's not gonna work too well uh not a good business plan way is saying I, i'm telling you if you went in there there was no deals they had nothing they didn't want anybody to come in there and i asked the guy and uh kind of makes sense anyway good luck today guys listen don't forget if you're in the cyber group room today um after i do phase three it was our first lesson and that's for gold and platinum students if you want to get in there if you want to upgrade here at cyber Train university talk to education advisor but after that we're gonna have josh doing uh traders talk which is our most popular event 
that we do here in the cyber group room. If you're watching YouTube, Facebook live, if you want to get in there, just pay $9, do a quick trial. You get in there, enjoy us for a whole week. And then uh, we'll be back in the afternoon for the afternoon meeting and uh, for, for uh, part two of phase three. So you got a really, really busy week. And then Thursday, we're gonna move our cyber expo to the following week. We were gonna do it this Thursday, but with all the holiday stuff and sales going on, people are a little, a little chaotic. We're gonna push it off till next week, but I'm still gonna do open house on Thursday. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading, be safe, and let's make some money, all right?